In this video, let us see about the different types of DC generator and the EMF equation of DC generator. A DC generator is a machine which converts mechanical energy to electrical energy and it is based on this principle Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. What is this law? Whenever a flux is cut by a conductor and EMF will be induced in the circuit. So you have a magnetic field which is stationary and a coil will be rotating in this magnetic field and because of this rotation there will be a rate of change of flux so an EMF will be induced and the direction of the induced EMF is given by Fleming's right hand rule. Now let us derive the EMF equation of the DC generator. So here we have P as the number of poles. So this north and south represents the poles. And flux is the, phi is the flux produced per pole and its unit is in Weber's. Z is the total number of armature conductors. This black one is called the armature conductors and A is the number of parallel paths found by the armature winding. Already we have seen about lap winding and wave winding. So the number of parallel paths will be equal to 2 for wave winding and it will be equal to P for lap winding. And N is the speed which is given in RPM and EG is the EMF induced. So unit is voltage. Now we will derive the EMF equation. Let us derive the EMF equation. So according to Faraday's law, we know EMF induced in one conductor is equal to d phi by dt. That is rate of change of flux. So what is d phi? What is dt? We will find it out. What is d phi? That is the flux con cut by the conductor in one revolution. So that is d phi is equal to number of poles into flux produced per pole. So p into phi. And then what is dt? It is the time taken by the conductor for one revolution. So that is 60 divided by n where n is the speed of rotation of the conductor. So the, its unit is second. So now you substitute these two here. So if you substitute these two here you will get P pi divided by 60 by N. And then we will find what is the total EMF generated is equal to EMF induced in one conductor into number of conductors per parallel path. So this thing into number of conductors is z divided by for parallel path you have a so phi z done by 60 into p by a so depending upon whether it is a lap winding or wave winding this will change you can substitute a equal to 2 or p in case of lap winding and wave winding Now let us see about the different types of DC generator. Basically there are two types separately excited generator and self excited generator. Excitation means field. So when the field is given a different supply or a separate DC supply is given for the field then we call it as a separately excited generator. In self-excited generator, there is no separate uh, supply for the field winding. The machine itself will supply the field. So in this case, you have three different types, shunt generator, series generator and compound generator. Shunt means it is a parallel path. So when the field winding is connected in parallel with the armature, we call it as a shunt generator. 
when this field winding is connected in series with the armature we call it as a series generator compound means it is a combination it means that it has a series field as well as a shunt field so two fields will be there shunt field and series field we call it as a compound generator actually in compound generator you have two types long shunt and short shunt compound generator so this is long shunt compound generator because it combines both this armature and series winding and after that it is connected in parallel so it is called long shunt compound generator another one is short shunt compound generator it means that you are connecting the field winding only across the armature okay field winding is connected only across the armature series winding will be after that then we call it as a short short shunt compound generator now we will see about separately excited dc generator so as i told earlier field winding is given a different dc supply and uh, this is the armature which will produce the armature current ia here the armature current and load current remains the same and this v is the terminal voltage so this is generated emf and here you have terminal voltage so the armature current ia equal to il and the terminal voltage v is equal to see here emf is generator after that here this armature will have some resistance called armature resistance so that will be dropped and remaining voltage you will get as a terminal voltage so v is equal to eg minus iara or you can write generated emf eg is equal to this terminal voltage plus iara always remember in generator the generated voltage will be more and the terminal voltage will be less you are generating more voltage and some voltage are dropped across the resistance so your terminal voltage will be less okay so eg equal to v plus iara so this is very important because if you change the polarity it will become a motor equation so always remember the generated emf will be more than the terminal voltage in generator next is self excited dc generator so here field windings receive power from the armature so there are three types shunt generator series and compound generator so first dc shunt generator here the field winding is connected across the armature so let us take this as i shunt and this will be load current and this is armature current so this shunt resistance will be usually of high value so that the current through the field winding will be a small quantity so ish you can write it as v that is this terminal voltage because all are parallel so you can write it as this voltage divided by rsh will give you this current ish and what is the armature current the total armature current gets divided into two parts so i can write it as ia is equal to il plus ish and v is equal to eg minus iara same equation so you can write eg is equal to v plus iara next we have the dc series generator where the field winding is connected in series with the armature and this series resistance will have a very low value it will be designed such that it has a few turns of thick wire and since all are is in, uh, all the elements are in series we can write um, the current remains the same so we can write ia is equal to isc 
ISI is the series current that is equal to load current and uh, the generated EMF is equal to here you have two resistance armature resistance as well as series resistance so I can write V plus IA into RA plus RSC because all current are same I am writing it as IA into RA plus RSC next we have uh, DC compound generator here you have two windings a shunt field winding as well as a series winding will be there shunt means always in parallel with the armature series means it will be connected in series with the armature so there are two types long shunt compound generator and short shunt compound generator if you take the long shunt compound generator first the series winding is connected in series with the armature and for the combination a shunt field will be connected across it so in this case we call it as long shunt because shunt is longer so here we can write ish is equal to same v divided by rsh and armature current ia is equal to series current both are same they are in series that is equal to here it gets divided into two parts so il plus ish and eg can be written as v plus ia into ra plus rsc okay. in case of short shunt compound generator you can see this shunt field will be connected only across armature and the series winding will be connected after that so this is called short shunt so here armature current will be different from the series current so ia is equal to il plus ish it gets divided into two parts whereas here the series current and load current remains the same because they are in series and the generated emf is equal to v plus this iara plus this drop you have to consider either you can write isc into rsc or il into rsc in the compound generator there are two types of compounding it means that how the flux get added because you have two windings whether two uh, windings will aid each other or oppose each other depending upon that there are two types one is called cumulative compounding we know what is cumulative means adding up so the flux due to shunt field and series field if they are aiding each other we call it as a cumulative compounding and in case of a differential compounding both the fluxes will be opposing each other so in that case we call it as differential compounding so in this channel we have covered up 55 topics in power electronics and some of the topics in basic electrical engineering and solid state drives so if you have any queries or if you want any other topics to be included you can just mail to read electric vehicle at gmail.com or you can write it in the comment section so the points to remember here are a DC generator is a machine that converts mechanical energy to electrical energy and it is based on the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. So the generated EMF formula is given by phi Zn by 60 into P by A. And the direction of the EMF is given by Fleming's right hand rule and generated equation is equal to eg is equal to v plus ia ra always remember in generator the generated voltage will be greater than the terminal voltage and the types of dc generator uh, we have separately excited and self excited generator in self excited generator there are three types shunt series and compound in compound you have long shunt and short shunt 
and DC gen shunt generator equation is EG is equal to V plus IA RA. For series generator, you have to include the series resistance also. For long shunt generator, and um, it is same as the DC series generator. And for short generator, it will be different current. IL into RSE, you will get extra. If you like the video, do subscribe to Read Electric Vehicle channel. These are the references I have used. Thank you.